Hello! Elevator time! And cutscene time! Sorry, Mr. Hardass. Okay, um, there we go. I see. I understand the basic specs. So, where's the actual field data? Well, it's not quite ready. All I can provide today is up to A7. So you don't have it? Well, we'll begin testing with a mock-up unit very soon. But the system is still a little unstable and... Aren't you just making excuses? Listen, Chief Uzuki. Why do you think you're on this ship? Think about that for a moment. This fleet may be newly outfitted, but it was assembled under major time constraints. And we have eggs units, but the 100 series observational units that go with them aren't available until later. What would happen if by some chance we were attacked by those things? I don't think I need to describe the outcome to you. The purpose of Cosmos deployment was to address this issue. Or am I mistaken? No, sir. Listen, you're not in a laboratory anymore. You're on a warship. This is a battlefield. Cosmos was supposed to be our frontline defense here, and now you're telling us it hasn't even woken up yet. There's no point in having a weapon that can't even get out of bed. That thing's only meaningful to us when it's fully operational. Why can't you- Let it go, Commander. These people are working under serious time constraints. Just like our own squadron. Besides, they're only one step away from actual field testing. In the end, we all want to see this operation completed without having to resort to that thing. Don't we? Of course, Captain. But I believe we... Ugh, who's calling me? Is there a problem? Uh, uh, no. Something urgent's come up. If you'll excuse me. I wonder what's wrong. I don't know. Well, never mind. That's enough for today, Chief Uzuki. Let me know if any new developments arise. I'm sorry we failed to meet your expectations. Oh, there's no need to apologize. What's important to us is how reliable the system is once we start using it. Rushing the project won't get us anywhere. So just calm down and take as much time as you need. The government's funding it all anyway, right? <laughs> you must be tired. Take the rest of the day off. Okay, a short word on uh, <laughs> uh, the attention to detail they uh, have um, well, that they have in this game. Uh, did you notice uh, how Chernikov flinched when he got that um, communicator call? And an email. <laughs> well, I mean, they are still, of course, working with um, some limitations. And, uh, like I said in my, uh, <laughs> since deleted, uh, uh, a long video on, uh, Star Ocean 4. Uh, well, in, uh, uh, that game, of course, takes it, 
quite a few steps too far, honestly, with the attention to detail. Uh, but, um, yeah, uh, good on them for um, making Cherenko flinch like that. Um, and by the way, I hope you did see the uh, uh, captain's um, wrinkles. But not that there's any, uh, any significance behind those wrinkles. Um, but also, uh, well, yeah, uh, the body language they use here, uh, it seems like it's, uh, well, obviously very <laughs> Japanese. I don't really know how, how to uh, really explain it without sounding like a big duty head, but um, yeah, lo lots of Japanese mannerisms in their body language. So, uh, most of the uh, most of the little signals they uh, have, I mean, that they little animations, little uh, nods, uh, hand movements, and the like. Uh, those have um, the significance of most of those. Um, probably elude me even today. Uh, so, uh, playing this game several times has been, uh, well, really a learning experience <laughs> about uh, <laughs> Japanese culture. Oh, hey! Ace Hanger, sure, cool beans. Um, where's the Ace Hanger again? <laughs> ah, yeah, I know it's not over this way, but, um... Figure I might as well have a look. Oh, it is over this way. Oh, oh well. <laughs> there you go. I wonder if that's the MWS or the Vaporizer plugin. And to collect your packages, you go over this way. Talk to Mr. Green. Yeah, the MWS. <clears throat> yeah, Miyuki's uh, into inventing stuff. Uh, well, connecting random electronic gear and doohickeys. Hint, hint, hint. Bada bing. So now to uh, get back to Xion's room, <laughs> which is marked on the map. <clears throat> uh, okay. So. Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, 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 I... No, I should go back this way. I very nearly missed a highly miserable email there. So I will have to go and take care of that. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, I think this illustrates my point about uh, some of these emails being uh, annoyingly miserable. Because of the steps you have to, uh, well, perform to get them. Oh. Well. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I just uh, looked ahead in the guide, and uh, this is not the <laughs> way to um, get that email. Apparently, you should. Oh, uh, sorry. <coughs> Like I said, sorry about that. Um, the way to get that email is go down here, go over this way. Hi guys, playing tag on the job.
is from the elevator. That's this direction over here. And then, when you turn north here, be sure to stay on the left hand side of the corridor. And there. If you walk anywhere else on the map, you will not get this email. Uh, if you do not get it under the, at this particular point in the game, you will never get it at all. And uh, that will suck. Believe me. You kind of need to do this to get a stupid amount of money later in the game. So, um... Okay, essentially, we are going to uh, take 500G and uh, invest those in uh, a random corporation. However, the correct choice here is a Vector. Exactly why that is, I do not know. Uh, well, I, I'm, I don't know precisely how this works, but... Uh, just, just pick Vector here. Everything will be fine if you do. Okay, now I have 12 emails out of uh, a supposed 13. That is... No, wait, no, that's 14 out of 12. Uh, 12 14, whatever. One, 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 one tiny little extra thing that you should do before uh, proceeding with the game. You should get back to Shigion's lab. There will be another email waiting for you there. Although, I'm kind of suspicious. I think it might be uh, another spam kind of thing. But uh, let's just go and do that, and then we shall come back here, because that is Hyun's room. Or I may just uh, make a cut, and uh, yeah, <laughs> walk back over there and save the game, uh, or something. Mm -hmm. Is there something else I wanted to talk about while, I, while we are running over this way? Uh, yeah, uh, there are uh, three. Um, uh, well, I'm, I'm not sure what to call it, but um, well, for now, let's just call them um, means of um, well, display modes or um, something. Uh, you have. Well, I'm running back to my lab, excuse me. So, you have this normal exploration mode with the uh, blue dialog boxes. And then you have the real-time rendered cutscene, which is when the camera starts moving around, but you are still... Uh, but the game is still rendering using uh, the uh, in-game character models. Uh, and they have uh, a new kind of subtitle thing going on and then you have uh, the uh, pre-rendered video uh, which is also I think rendered using the uh, in-game character models as far as uh, well as far as possible uh, when you're playing the game, you can kind of tell, at least if you're using component out. Oh, yeah, just great. I went all this way for fucking spam. Uh, but right, as I said, um, uh, what did I say? Uh, yeah, uh, you can tell the difference between the real time rendered cutscenes and uh, the pre rendered cutscenes by. Part, the uh, slightly blocky MPEG stream, which is visible if you use component out, if you use um, composite or RGB SCART, uh, it will not be as easily visible. Uh, the most visible uh, 
clue to the difference between uh, the real-time rendered and uh, pre-rendered stuff is actually the subtitles. I think you've already noticed that, but uh, I'm not... I, well, I don't know if you uh, connected the dots uh, in... Well, fuck you very much, good sir. Um, well, yeah. If you kind of paid attention, if you notice it and don't know why that is, now you know. I'm not sure if you can tell the difference between um, real time rendered and a pre rendered video based on the uh, quality level we get on the YouTube machine. But there you go. That's what to look for. It's perfectly fine by me. Stop looking at me, man. Wee I can move around. I can run around. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I'm actually going to um, call it an episode here because there will be anime craziness on the other side of this door. So until